I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this is the CubeSat Sim Mainboard Part 2 Assembly, and we're going to begin with some testing on the board uh, that we did in uh, Part 1. So the first thing we're going to do is the charge LED test. So we're going to check the micro USB connector and the red LED. So I have my, uh, my micro USB uh, cable here plugged into a power plug and uh, now I just connect it here and I get the red LED. So that, uh, that tells us that we are getting uh, 5 volts DC uh, at that point. So that, uh, that test is complete. Now if we don't get that it could be that this is not soldered on correctly. It could be that the micro USB cable uh, um, isn't working or it isn't plugged into a power outlet or a computer or it could mean that the LED is backwards check the polarity and uh, or that this uh, resistor uh, R11 is, uh, is uh, not installed correctly. Okay let's go to our next test which is the uh, Raspberry Pi blink test so for that we need the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero, and I use a Raspberry Pi Zero W. You could use just a Raspberry Pi uh, Zero or a uh, Zero Two W as well. You also need the micro USB uh, uh, card that uh, that you put together um, in uh, in the software install step. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, put the micro USB card into the uh, Pi Zero W board and then I'm going to plug uh, the Pi Zero board. You notice there is an outline here labeled Pi Zero WH so that's showing you uh, where it plugs in here on the uh, bottom side. So I just line that up and then Gently push down so that it is uh, fully installed. You can see it's pushed in all the way there. And the same thing there. So we are ready to do the Pi Blink test. And we also need the micro USB uh, connector cable here, although. For now, we're going to plug it directly into the Pi Zero. Now, once this board is built, we do not want to do this. Uh, we want the power to come through, come through the, uh, the battery. Um, but for now, uh, with most of the board unbuilt, it's, it's safe to connect power uh, directly to the um, Pi Zero. And uh, you can actually plug it into either of the uh, of the micro USB ports, um, but uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, and plug it into this one here, which is the power input. And once I do that, I should see the small LED on the Pi begin to blink. So let's see what happens. And there it goes. I don't know if you can see it there. It's uh, a little bit dim. The LED is on the top of the board, but you can see it through, uh, through that hole. Um, but that blinking light there indicates that the Pi is, is booting uh, and, uh, and we are in good shape. So the next test is the power test. Uh, so once the Pi has booted, here we go, and the software begins to run, the green LED will turn on uh, and illuminates. Uh, there we go. So now, now you could hear the CWID being uh, transmitted and also the blue LED is illuminated indicating that, uh, that uh, the uh, CubeSat SIM is transmitting. Okay. And again, if, uh, if, if, if neither of these lights turn on, uh, it's an indication 
that perhaps the software is not is not running. Oh, there we go. Just turn that down. Indication that uh, that the um, software might not be running on the Pi Zero W. So you go back to the software install step um, to check that out. Um, if the green illuminates but not the not the blue, uh, it might indicate there's a problem with uh, with the blue LED. Okay, so one more uh, one more test that we're going to do, and that is the push button test. We have our push button switch here, but we haven't uh, we haven't tested it. Um, so let's see if it let's see if it works. Um, so the first thing we're going to try to do is to see if it we can use it to reboot the Pi, and to do that, I'm just going to press and release uh, the button, and when I do that, we should see the the, the green LED and the blue LED turn off, and then about 30 seconds later, they'll turn on again after the Pi reboots. So let's see what happens. Press and release, and you see the green LED goes out, and then the blue LED goes out a few seconds later. Okay, so that seems to be, to be working. Uh, we should also hear the CWID, uh, the Morse code, uh, when the uh, CubeSat Sim software starts back up again, again you can see the uh, you can see the, uh, the LED blinking. There we go. If I turn that there, you can see it see it a little better uh, right there. Okay, and we're starting up again. Green LED turns on, and then we expect the blue blue LED. Okay, so, uh, so the button worked for rebooting. Now let's try changing modes. And I'm going to press and hold the button here until it blinks. And I just did it for one blink there, which should switch it to, uh, to mode one, which is APRS telemetry. So we should hear the CWID again, and then And then we should hear an APRS packet. Perhaps. There we go. And you see the blue LED blinks each time it transmits there. Okay, so let's try a different mode here. Uh, I'm going to try switching to uh, slow scan TV mode or SSTV mode, which is four blinks. So I'm going to hold this, one blink two blinks, three blinks, four blinks. And as it's blinking four times, or just after it blinks four times, I release the button, and that should put it into, um, into mode four. And uh, mode four is slow scan TV. And that has a very distinctive sound to it. So we should hear that in a minute. There we go. So that is the Scotty 2 format slow scan TV image. Turn that down since it's a little annoying. Uh, and notice that there's no Pi camera plugged in here. The ribbon cable would be here. So the uh, CubeSat Sim software just transmits stored images. Um, but if you plug in a, a, a Pi camera here, um, it will detect it and, uh, and transmit images. Okay, so now we're just going to test the push button for shutdown. So I'm going to hold it, and after it blinks five times, the green LED will blink slowly, and that indicates that it's shutting down. So let's see if that happens. There it goes. Now it's blinking slowly. I can release it, and, uh, and it shuts down. The uh, green LED on the Pi blinks for a bit, and, uh, and then it... Uh, and then it goes off. So now we are we are shut down and then we can test the final functionality of this push button which is with the Pi shut down but connected to power if we just press it and release it it should uh, it should boot up 
and power on. So let's see if that happens. So I press and release. Yep, you can see the, the LED blinking there and in a minute it will, it will turn on. So, uh, so our uh, main board so far has uh, successfully passed all the tests. Um, if you don't pass those tests, you might need to check the software, the Pi Zero, or the soldering on the, on the main board itself. And in just a minute, that should turn on. Yep, there's the green LED. And then in another minute, we should hear the CWID. Here we go.